Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this tripod by Ulanzi Komen, the Zero Y. And honestly, I never thought Ulanzi was going to make a tripod with such quality. This is a carbon fiber tripod, and right now we're going to speak about it. So let's start. Okay, when I say I did not expect this from uh, Ulanzi, well, there is an explanation, okay? It sounds a bit strange to say that. Well, actually, I knew the brand. I uh, Myself, I've got a rig for a smartphone. Price is really brilliant. Quality is what you get for that price. You cannot really complain, but it's not top quality. So, uh, not top price either. So when they contacted me and said, would you like to uh, test our uh, tripod? carbon fiber, say carbon fiber, yeah. Yeah. they gave me a link to Amazon to check uh, how it was, I thought, whoa, we're looking at something really different from what I was used to uh, from this brand, okay, uh, probably this is why uh, it's written a common and Ulanzi, probably it's made together, or common for Ulanzi, I don't know, they got together, I don't know, but seriously, the quality is another story, okay, so uh, another good story, okay, you get your tripod in this pouch, okay, you also get a strap if you want to carry the bag, okay, in a different way than the uh, basic one, okay? Okay, then you get a manual in several languages, a small card that gives you the characteristic, the, fe the features, the, spe the specification, I should say, okay? And then, I thought, what, what, is, what is this? Well, uh, the picks, I mean, for uh, the legs, you can put all rubber or this, depending on the floor where you put your tripod on. So, really, with this tripod, fiber carbon tripod, we're speaking about something of another level. Okay, so we're going to check it. The first thing you're going to notice is the size. This is really compact. This is a 42.3 centimeter when it's folded, 16.6 uh, .6 inches. I checked my notes there, okay. But what's really uh, um, impressive is this. I get the, the tripod out, okay. Look at this. The size, well, it's so compact. It's amazing, amazing. The quality, you see the fiber is brilliant. Plastic part, the metal part. The, the quality is really stunning, okay? So I'm going to show you, uh, to tell you some technical details, specification. I'm going to show you what it can do. Well, uh, I noticed one thing, it cannot do coffee, but that must be the only thing, okay? So maybe it could learn, okay? So let's carry on. So let's speak about technical details. First, this is uh, top of the range quality, okay? You guessed it, okay? It is carbon fiber, you have a bag to transport it, I showed you already. So let's speak about the size, okay? Many people make a massive mistake. I always, every time I present a tripod, I repeat it, okay? But I tell it just because if you didn't see any other uh, of my video, okay? Um, a tripod, you don't choose it according to your height. You choose it according to what you're going to do. So many people who are maybe six foot high, they say, okay, I need a really high tripod. And that's not the way it works. You should pick the tripod for what you're going to do, okay? So this one, if you get the column completely out, it reaches 156 centimeters, what, 0.7, okay? Or 61.6 inches, okay? If you don't want to put the column out, then it goes up to 132 centimeter which is 51.9 inches and then if you want to remove the column and put the tripod as low as possible without uh, reversing the column okay just no column it goes as low as 15.3 centimeters which is uh, six inches okay this is really compact as you could see 42.3 centimeters when it's folded which is 16.6 .6 inches five sections five uh, sections for the legs okay and the weight is 1.1 kilo really important many people think that uh, they should choose some carbon fiber uh, tripod because it's lighter now carbon fiber is a bit lighter the tube are lighter than aluminium or other uh, probably other material okay but this is not the idea because you still have metal part the head is fully metal if it's quality tripod it's not just uh, plastic and carbon fiber you have uh, really good material along the tubes okay so uh, you actually gain a bit of weight but what you gain is stability because carbon fiber uh, is not flexible so it means uh, it's going to be a lot more stable for your camera okay 
On the hook be below the column, if you use it, you can uh, put some counterweight and it could bear up to 18 kilograms. It means you could actually hang your bag and give some stability to the tripod, so up to 18 kilos. And the head supports up to five or six kilos, five to six kilos for your camera. It means like most camera could go on this, no problem, okay? Maybe you have really more massive weight, but normally that should be okay. Um, the legs at the end you can have all rubber or put the metal pick I showed you just before and then you have a hook on the column if you use the column okay this is made to put some counterweight and uh, I said before but this hook is also a universal tool to make several things on the tripod itself okay so we're going to have a look at it but really the quality is just stunning it's going to be hard not to forget to show something because it does many things, okay? Uh, two things, we're going to tell what it doesn't do. First, we saw before, it doesn't make coffee, okay? And second, this is not a monopod, it's only tripod, okay? So, let's go for it. Okay, let's look at it. Here, you open it with these clips. With time, uh, many tripod with clips like this, uh, that close like this, they get a bit loose, they get, because it get, they get used, okay? and uh, then they end up without uh, able to uh, bite on the on the tube okay this one you can actually tighten them if they would get loose with time you can uh, uh, make them a bit more tight so this is absolutely brilliant it means uh, your uh, investment will uh, be uh, will last for long longer okay so this is really good uh, the tool to do it is in included okay i'm going to open the to open the legs okay five section as you can see quality of the of, of, of this I don't know if this is metal it's a bit cold I don't know but it, it looks fantastic you know I don't think it's plastic this this is really too good okay and here okay so I'm going to show you how it is when you open it here you have a mini column here okay I'll show you after so here that would be uh, 1 meter 32, which is in inches, 51.9 inches. And if you wanted to put the uh, column up, here you have a lever, okay? Okay, and that would be 1 uh, meter 56, which is 61.6 inches, okay? <laughs> well, right, this is... Uh, I've got so much more to tell about it, okay? Here they have this uh, hook I spoke about. This is the universal tool that's going to help me do more things, okay? But the quality and the stability is uh, just basically amazing. You know, really good, really. So, let's speak about the head. Well, uh, there's a lot to say about it. First, you have a lever here, okay? So you can put the column out, up, okay? And here, one thing, you have a small rubber here. So it means it will not scratch the legs of uh, press legs when it's closed. Okay, so good. They take care of this. Okay, because uh, some tripod they all add up, all scratch, all that. Okay. Second, let's. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, this up. Okay. Here you have to liberate this, which is I, I don't know what standard it is. It looks like an orca Swiss to me, the size, okay, but I'm not sure, okay, I, I cannot confirm, okay. Here, you have the only negative point, which is a bubble level, which is really good to have it, but when you place uh, your uh, small plate here, it's partly covered, okay, or by the camera or by the plate. Uh, this is not a problem, you still see the center, but I think it would have been nice to have it a bit more outside. Although the shape would be a bit different and maybe it will not be as compact, okay? But uh, it doesn't bother. When, at first you thought you cannot see it. I, I, after you realize, yes, you can see the center if the bubble is there. But, well, I would prefer to have it more obvious, okay? Second, so this is the only negative point I tell you. Here, you have uh, this, so you can uh, move 360 degrees and it's all uh, written here. You have the degrees indicated here, okay? I'm not sure if I showed you already this. Uh, here you have this lever that allow you to uh, uh, inclinate this way the head but you can also inclinate up to 90 degrees like this okay no problem that works okay and by the way I forgot to show you one thing here uh, sorry this here okay which is this this small hole we uh, have a look at it right now in a second okay 
So I'm not sure if I forgot something. Oh, oh yeah, here you have the hole here. You can actually put some uh, accessories uh, to put like a, a screen or a monitor or a smartphone, whatever, uh, if you want to have uh, next to your uh, camera. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so so far, so far. Okay, so let's carry on. Now let's look at this small hook, which is a magic tool. I get this out and I get an Allen key here. What is that for? The Allen key is you can actually uh, precisely uh, tie it again where you want uh, the, the on the tube or if you had to change the tube, uh, whatever whatever reason, okay, you can tie it. Then you can also change the pressure of your clips when you close, okay, when if uh, with time would get uh, used and uh, you need to tie them a bit, you can. Also the legs here, but more than this, once this is out, you can actually get the column out okay you can put it inverted if you want okay uh, less uh, speaking and showing something at the same time is hard for me okay always recommend you place again the hook on it this way if you didn't lock properly this your camera would not fall on the floor okay so it's really important so you can have your uh, camera upside down okay but some people don't want the camera to be upside upside down they want to have it uh, direct okay uh, on top of it so here where the magic happens okay you leave this you put on 90 degrees and he there's a hole here okay I'll just go here put the tool in there and as you can see the column I tried to show you is getting separated okay It's, uh, it's, it's, I should leave things on the floor, you know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit lost. It's a lot faster than this, honestly. Okay, so that's separated. So I keep the hook in my pocket. I keep the tube also, well, the tube triangle, okay? And I place it here. So I push this again, okay? And then this way, I uh, try to see what I do, okay? Okay. You have your tripod. That can be as low as, in centimeters, 15.3 uh, uh, centimeters, six, six inches, okay? I'll go away so you can see it. That low. Some people need a camera to be in the right up, not uh, inverted, and really low. That's it. So, as you can see, this is complete magic. This is... Really incredible, really incredible. And uh, oh, 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 of course, it's slower for me to explain and show at the same time. But when you use it, this is really fast. As I said at the beginning, you have uh, two options, the rubber legs, okay, uh, point, or this, okay. If you're on something that is slippery, like, I don't know, well, uh, normal floor, you know, you're in your house, okay, use this. Otherwise, if you're outdoor and maybe you have some sand or some rocks and you don't want to actually damage the rubber uh, legs, you can uh, remove it, like I'm doing right now. And you place this pick here, okay? Place it here. And you can actually tighten it with the universal tool like this, okay? And that's it. So this will really uh, go uh, deep in uh, the rocks or whatever without damage, damaging this and uh, to be uh, safer on stability, okay? So that's fantastic. Another small negative point, uh, this is not a drama, okay? The small plates, uh, many plates now, right now, they come with a small lever, so you can only uh, tight with your hand. This one doesn't, so you need a coin to actually uh, tight your camera, okay? But that's not, it's not a big problem, but that's surprising that they didn't do that, okay? Maybe for space reason, I'm not sure, okay? The other day, someone commented that when I present a tripod, I should uh, put a camera on it, so it uh, gives an idea how it looks, okay? So I was uh, going around with my uh, Hasselblad, okay? So uh, as you can see, when it's placed, I cannot see the bubble level, impossible. With some camera, yes, with this one, impossible. So there would be two options. One would be uh, to have a bubble here, but in this case, I would know if the legs are leveled, but not the head. Okay, so uh, there's no perfect system. Maybe have it a bit lower here. I don't know. But right where it is right now, I cannot see. On a digital camera, that's no problem because most of them they have a bubble level on the screen, so you can actually check or in the viewfinder, that would be okay. If I use my analog camera or a camera that doesn't have a bubble level, I have to remove the, the camera, check if it's level, and then place it. Well, mm, it's hard to get everything compact and everything perfect, okay? But well. 
it gives you an idea of how it looks uh, with the camera placed on it so my conclusion well i was really amazed by the quality uh, honestly i didn't expect this as i explained at the, uh, at the beginning i don't know if common is making this and ulanzi is selling it or i don't know the deal they have okay doesn't matter what i got here is a fantastic tripod the quality is stunning i did not expect this and yes uh, really 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 recommendable uh, this is a top of the range so it's not the cheap budget as i've seen uh, or presented some uh, tripod everyone uh, does uh, what he can with the money he has available the budget okay but if you have uh, the budget for this this is a fantastic quality uh, really 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 recommendable so i'll leave you links in the description on where you can buy it so thank you so much ulanzi for contacting me thank you to my mother who received it because it's sent by amazon and amazon doesn't send to the canary island so she received it and then she sent it to me it took like 18 days with the mail so it was crazy okay so but here it is so thank you to both of them to comment also for i don't know what comment is doing but thank you to them too thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel small button down here so small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgipo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below I'll also leave you links of my on amazon links of everything I reviewed by kf concepts and mark and flashes by westcott and links other affiliated links of brand you may be interested and a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation thank you very much please take care of yourself and see you soon bye